Derby County and Paul Warren face a tough test this Wednesday evening as they face Swansea City at Pride Park Stadium. There's big discussions to be had over who's going to take the number nine position for Derby County. Will they stick with their 3-5-2 that they played versus the likes of Coventry? and Preston North End at the weekend, will they be able to put in a better attacking display than they did in their most recent game? It's all a big question. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County content. Also, check out Kitbag in the description for the latest sales on all your favourite Derby County and other football teams, basketball teams, gear over there on the website. The link will be down in the description. Now, let's talk about Derby County so far this season. They've been really, uh, in my opinion, they've been fairly decent. They're currently sitting uh, around 11th or 12th in the division. Uh, I think once Swansea City's game finishes, which at the minute is 2-1 to Swansea against Leeds, I think Derby County will end up in 12th place. But they've done fairly decently so far. 20 points out of 16 games, which in my opinion, is really, really good. And they come up against a Swansea side, which at the moment, as I mentioned, as I'm recording this video, are currently beating Leeds United 2-1. It's going to be a very, very interesting one. Shall we head on over to Footmob, look at any potential injuries and what situations Derby County and Swansea are going to have to deal with? Now, as you can see, there is some big injuries for Swansea City. The likes of Fisher, Eon, Ginley, Cooper and Parker all potentially missing for this upcoming game on Wednesday evening. If you look for Derby County, the likes of Callum Elder, David Ozo and Tawanda Chiwa are back in training but still potential doubts for this upcoming uh, fixture. I think Paul Warren said in his most recent press conference after the game against Preston that David Ozo said, thinks this one might come a little bit too soon. Maybe Sheffield Wednesday might be a little bit too soon as well. But for the likes of Callum Elder and Tawanda Shiwa, they may well be involved. Now, obviously for Ryan Niambi, he's still going to be out for a long, long while. Now, if we look at the recent form of the two sides, as I've mentioned already, as I'm recording this, Swansea City are still playing versus Leeds United, currently winning 2-1. Now, Derby County have picked up three draws, one defeat and one win in their previous five. That's six points out of a possible 15, I think that is. Uh, whereas Swansea City, obviously, with their victory, potential victory versus Leeds United, they'll be looking at three wins and two losses, which is nine points out of a potential 15. And they'll have climbed up to 12th place in the division. Now, there's a lot to talk about with these two teams. You look at uh, Swansea City, obviously, as I say, still 2-1 up after 16 games. Uh, 22 points they'll be sitting on. Derby County, five wins, five draws, six defeats, 20 points, 20 goals scored, 20 conceded. I think this is going to be a very, very interesting game. You look at the head-to-heads of the two sides. In recent years, you go back to 2022, the last time they played each other, where Swansea City got the better of Derby County during that administration season. Obviously, a draw at home at Pride Park, which for Derby County that season, it was their fortress. But Swansea City and Derby County, it normally seems to be a Derby County favoured result uh, with draws in there as well. Two wins for Swansea, so let's not ignore them. And they are uh, two of the most recent results that Derby County and Swansea have had. Now, you'll see over here that Jerry Yates uh, is top goal scorer for Derby County. Now, he's a player who's going to be missing for this game for Derby County. Uh, as he is on loan from Swansea City, he is ineligible to play. And after 14 games, 14 starts, four goals, two assists, he's set himself up to be a very good player for Derby County so far this season. He's been really influential in build-up play in Derby County's attacking areas and ultimately has helped out a lot with Dejon Brown, who's been coming through. And uh, Dejon Brown's obviously made his first couple of starts now for Derby County uh, in the Championship. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how Derby County do replace him. Now, obviously, if we do go to Derby County's squad, there is a fair few options for Paul Warren to choose from. Now... Obviously, if we're going to stick with two strikers, that means Dejon Brown will probably stay up front, which would probably imply that James Collins would step in. Now, there is obviously the likes of Connor Washington, who I personally can't see stepping in. And there's also Caden Jackson, who can throw, play through the middle. And could Marcus Harness do a job up top with Dejon Brown? That's a big question on my lips. Now, we'll go through my predictions for teams in a moment, but I think there is a big opportunity here for... Uh, the likes of Dejon Brown for James Collins to step into the first team and step into that 11, obviously 3-5-2 in the most recent game. If we stick with that, it'll probably be Collins stepping in. And I think this is an excellent opportunity to prove that these players have the capabilities to go and obviously 
win a shirt and win a game for Derby County. Now, if you look at the upcoming fixtures, you've got Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds, Burnley, Pompey, Luton, West Brom. It doesn't get easier for Derby as we head on into December. It actually gets much more difficult. Obviously, Pompey's probably the easiest game out of the chunk based on their most recent performances. But Derby County are going to have to expect a lot versus Swansea City. In my opinion, we personally need to go out and pick up all three points uh, just to give ourselves a little bit of comfortability. Because if we do look at the league table and we get down to the bottom once it loads, you'll see that there's only about five, maybe six points between uh, Derby County and the relegation zone, which is obviously not what Derby County need. They need a much bigger gap. Now, now... As I just mentioned, they obviously need a much bigger gap. It's currently five points to Hull City, who have lost three on the trot, face Sheffield Wednesday up next. So yeah, as mentioned, the gap at the bottom of the table certainly isn't a sort of a, a gap that Derby County want to be dealing with. They'll obviously want it to be a much, much bigger gap, and hopefully that's something which we can work towards over the course of the next few games. Obviously, there's no guarantee that any team is going to be able to come out and pick up all three points against anybody in this division. We've seen that when we've beat the likes of Middlesbrough. We've seen it uh, when we beat Coventry, a team who a lot of people sort of expected to turn us over. And I think it's going to be a very, very interesting turn of events for Derby County coming into this one. What conversations can be had about the starting eleven? I think... I think there's a big conversation to be had there. You obviously look at the likes of um, a Dejon Brown, a James Collins stepping into that uh, number nine role. You look at someone like Caden Jackson, who who is going to sort of make the most of the opportunity given to them by Paul Warren in this upcoming game. It is obviously a home fixture, so you've got the home fans behind you for Derby County who are certainly going to push us on and hopefully on to better things now in just a moment we're going to get on to the squad prediction let me know your thoughts about that down in the comments who do you think is going to replace jerry yates now obviously check out kit bag in the description if you have not done so already some absolutely brilliant deals on at the moment so don't miss out on that hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell Let's get in to the team predictions. So let's put a team prediction together for this game versus Swansea City. Obviously, we already know Jerry Yates is going to be out. I think they'll keep Dejan Brown in. I think, obviously, we saw Ben Osborne play at the weekend in a 3-5-2. But this week, I think Kenzo is going to come into the midfield with Liam Thompson and Ibo Adams. I do think Mendes Lang and Caden Jackson will play on either side. And I do think we'll play with a back four of Erin Cashin uh, and Curtis Nelson as the two centre-backs with Wilson and Forsyth either side. Now, obviously, there's a few big questions to ask and a few big caveats within sort of this team prediction because, obviously, it's a situation of, are we going to stick with a 4-3-3? Are we going to stick with a 3-5-2? Obviously, big questions to answer because... If we go to the 4-3-3, which is what you see in here, I think we'll go like this. Now, if we go to a 3-5-2, then I think we're going to look something a little like... Uh, where is he? Something a little like... Where's Nat Phillips? Something like this, if we go to a back three, where we have Cash in Phillips, Nelson, Fozzie on the left, Jackson on the right... Kenzo, Adams and Tomo in midfield with Collins and Dejan Brown up front. But I do think there's also a world where we can go to a 3-4-3 where you stick with Adams and Thompson in the middle. You put Jackson further forward. You bring Wilson into play uh, on this right-hand side. You play Dejan Brown through the middle and you play Mendes Lang off the left. And it looks a little bit like this. I think that is also another opportunity for Derby County, for Paul One to make sure they maximise uh, getting as many of their better players on the pitch. You look at the likes of Wilson, which you could essentially turn this into a 4-4-2 with Nelson pushing out to right back, Wilson on the right wing. Uh, Mendes Lang drops in as that left winger with Fozzie dropping in at left back with Brown and Jackson up front. So there's always those opportunities and that's something which I think Paul Warren will be looking at ahead in, into this one. Now, you can obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'm really intrigued to see what you guys do have to say about the team prediction because I do think that there's many ways that we could go. Obviously, when you look at this system, you could also bring in James Collins and keep him through the middle. You could also bring in Kenzo to play within that midfield. You could also, um, if we can find it, you can also go something a little like this. So you'd have Ibu 
and say Ben Osborne sitting with Jackson one side, uh, Jackson one side, you put Wilson on the other side, playing a little bit further forward. Where is Kane Wilson? Where are you, Kane Wilson? Kane Wilson. And then you have two in behind, which could be uh, Kenzo and Harness in behind Brown or uh, something like that. So there's plenty of different opportunities and different narratives that Paul Warren and Derby County can go with. What do you think they're going to do? For me, I think, if I've got to be really honest, I think it'll be um, the 4-3-3, which I showed you at the start, with Brown up front, uh, Jackson on the right, Mendes Lang on the left, Kenzo and Thompson through the middle, wherever Liam Thompson is. I'm going to have to search for him, aren't I? Liam, 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 Liam. He's not even going to show up, is he? So, you know, obviously, Thompson in the midfield with uh, Wilson on the right, Nelson in the middle, and Fozzie on the left. So, that's the team I think that he'll go with, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, obviously, it's a big, big game for Derby County to try and extend their gap to further back in the table obviously uh, with that relegation zone currently just sitting at five points do you think we're going to be able to pick up three points let me know your score predictions down in the comments and i'll catch you in my next video